Hello and welcome everybody to 1999. You guys are familiar with the Ping i series. This is the i3 O size. Now let's think and have a discussion about what does O mean? Does it mean oversized? We'll talk about that here. Does it mean offset? Does it mean optimum? What does O mean? And does it, is it even an O? Is it a zero? Zero size. We need to address that. Now, this is a club that lots of people have told me is the best club ever, all right? It doesn't matter if it's the O size or na 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 the blade. And it's cute. People are like, that's not a blade. But it's not the O size. It, it's called, it says blade right here, so we're going to call this the blade. I love it. So this is a blue dot and this is a orange dot, right? So this the lies are like on opposite ends of the spectrum. But we can plow through that. Now, what's the difference here? Okay, now I've measured these. I've looked at these. I've measured swing weights with these. These are the same. I'm really scratching my heads. Like I hold the heads up next to each other and one does not look bigger than the other. It is really, really bothersome here. Like one is not just glaringly. I'm gonna have to roll in a picture, but looking at these, which one's longer? Does is one of these longer than the other? I had to look it up. Do you know what the difference is? Not the loft. The lies, obviously the lies are different because they're different colored dots, but you can get an orange dot in the ping blade, ping i3 blade. There are two differences. Well, I guess you could say three differences. First, the O size has more bounce. And I'm looking at these and I'm having trouble seeing that. The other thing that it has is more offset and I can see that. So once you look at the offset here in the neck right here, you can see that the O size has more offset. And finally, this one says O size here and this one says blade. Those are the only three differences I can see. It's really a, a weird thing to look at these two six irons side by side. They're the same, the same iron. <sighs> but we should talk about how to identify it, I guess, because it's so difficult on the review table. All right, who can tell me which one is which? Which one's the O size and which one is the blade? There's kind of a giveaway looking at it from this angle. And we'll discuss that. The one on the left is the blade, the one on the right is the O size. So let's have a quick spin around the O size and you will be able to identify it after this, I think. So this is the damper weight right here, orange dot, which indicates the lie of the club. Ping O size branded right here, cavity with this lovely stainless finish right here. On the sole, we have the iron number. We have this, my understanding is to help with the bending for adjustments for lie and loft right here. Little adjust fitting notch, whatever they call that. And then you can see the toe profile. And on the face, the O size has these two little ticks right here, along with this lovely groove pattern. No nonsense, just business like grooves with the iron number here, high toe on the face. And we have a ferroless hosel. I like, I like calling them hosels. I think I'll call it hosel. And then we move up the step shaft. Look at the frequency of these steps. I love these Jay-Z shafts. And then lots of steps right here. And then we have the cushion Jay-Z A-Flex to a Golf Pride multi-compound half cordy grip. So I guess the next thing to do is, it looks like a ping. We need to go out and see if it feels like a ping. So you can see I hit this just fine, okay? It's not hard to hit a ping iron, especially the large cavity back ones. I know they make blades now. So 
in, in this channel, you know I am about passion and love. It's not just science. Scientifically, this is the best club for you. Doesn't mean I'm gonna buy it, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm 40 years old. I'm not just like desperate to get out on tour and win money. I don't play for money. I play for fun and kicks and giggles, right? So this, am I passionate? Do I love this club? So everybody, how was your day? I went golfing today, so my day has been great. Took out the old golf bag right here and enjoyed my M2 TaylorMade driver. I love that driver. I, I don't know if I'll ever replace it. I have to at some point, I guess. My Mizuno JPX 800 irons that I play. Love it, it was a lot of fun. It was wet today. Course vlogging, hard by the way. I tried, you know, a couple of times making video. It's just, it's, well, you're, we're moving at a pretty fast pace. So I need to figure out how to bring you along with me when I'm out on the course golfing. I have to figure out how to do that. So we're working on it. We'll bring you out there at some point. This iron, to me, this is after the pings that I love. Ping zing. Woo, bonkers. They made all, it just looked so outrageous. It was crazy. And I loved that about ping. And this is where they're like, all right, you know, the ISI, we're gonna bring it back to mainstream. People want it to sound like this. We'll put a damp, a weighted damper in here. That's what this is right here, to swing weight. If it ever falls out, you need to get it adjusted for swing weight. So, it's really hard for me to warm up to this. I like it, I could play it. I have a loaner set of ping eye blades, i3 blades that I loan out to my friends. The offset, the offset, the extra offset, is just not something I'm gonna seek. Does that make sense? No, it really, offset really is polarizing. I have friends who love the offset and they prefer irons with lots of offset. So let us know your thoughts below. O size or blade or neither. Do you like this 1999 ping offering? Let us know in the comments below. Looking forward to reading your comments. If you wanna support the channel, you can visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. You can always thumbs up the video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I am The Vintage Golfer.